Hello yeah, folks, so I'm, uh, I'm going to give you a, a long overdue uh, tour of the uh, the new camp um, and uh, show you around and uh, give you an idea of the things that I need to get on with uh, in order to move forward. In my defence, um, in the uh, short time we've been here a lot of things have happened um, which uh, sort of unpaid to a lot of ideas including the uh, the circumstances around the the loss of Bill, my bull, and uh, other other jobs and that which I needed to get on with, um, uh, and stuff like that. But uh, I, I guess I can't be lazy anymore, and uh, I need to get on with uh, with getting things sorted. So uh, bear with me as I uh, go and get myself uh, re relocated down to the uh, bottom of the track. And then we'll uh, we'll have a wander around, and uh, I'll show you the place that I'm uh, I'm living in at the moment. Okay. So uh, here we are at the uh, bottom of the track leading up to the farm, and uh, I guess I should apologise again because we're going to be walking into the sun, um, but shorter walking backwards, or uh, doing this later on, which I might do in the end of the day. We'll see how this video comes out. Um, this is the uh, the way it's got to be. So yeah, entrance, post box, and a field, fenced in field, it goes all the way up to the tree line up there. That's where Bill was. He was actually in this closed in area with the electric fence. We'll uh, pop over to that in a minute. So the track goes all the way up to the buildings there. We have. Down here, I don't know if you can see what I'm the screen. Um, pond down there, which apparently needs to be cleaned out. I've, I'm, I'm sort of of uh, mixed feelings with regards to that because uh, obviously nature's come back, and I, I, I quite enjoy nature. So I don't know what's in the overgrowth here. Could be uh, a larger pond than I thought it was. <laughs> So yeah, this was Bill's area, and uh, we had this pallet that was wedged up against the uh, the gate. There was a chain around the gate with a padlock, um, not padlock, um, uh, a uh, carabiner. And that's disappeared. Um, I don't think Bill had learnt how to uh, undo carabiners, but. Uh, yeah, I uh, run a metal detector around this area and I've not found it anywhere around here. But I'm not going to dwell on the uh, possibilities. But this, at the moment, is too big an area for the uh, for the goat gang to be in and I have other, other jobs for them to do. So back onto the track. The gang get uh, tethered out here just to clear along the side of the road. And again, unfortunately, it's too much for them. Um, I mean, it's not too much for them. It's just that there's that much for them to eat. It's taken a while for them to uh, to actually get anywhere. My toilet, spacious little place, and uh, it gets used. <laughs> and then we've got the garden area behind which is all overgrown. It goes back to the uh, the far tree line here, which goes around. And again, this needs to be cleared. Plenty of fruit trees in here. So, uh, I don't think I'll be uh, running short of food in the autumn months. Let's just look over this side. In the distance, you can see a small shed. And then what was left of a uh, cover for, uh, for animals over there. Just left that white cover. There's a, um, a patch of uh, darker green. Uh, that's a small uh, patch of, uh, I don't say vegetables and, uh, and, and fruit, um, but yeah, we've got rhubarb and, uh, and some uh, bits and pieces there. So I'm going to go and picking rhubarb over this weekend to, uh, to make a rhubarb crumble. Here we have 
the old farmhouse. You can see the uh, results of uh, the storm the other day. Yeah, we have the old farmhouse. And uh, that's been uh, ripped out to be renovated. You may or may not see inside my uh, sausages and uh, the salami is hanging. The uh, remainder of uh, the bill. And, you know, 10 kilo of meat doesn't equal, 10, 10 kilo of sausage and salami don't equate to a 463 kilo of bill. But that's another story. I've got a woodworker's bench which was uh, given to me last week. It obviously needs a bit of renovation. <laughs> and then we have the ratty, the, uh, the wagon, which is uh, in pieces with components lying around. Materials are, uh, are due, are overdue. Um, the move wasn't as smooth as uh, I'd have liked. But uh, that's the way it is. So okay. Well, we can look. Just look down here. That doorway at the bottom is the uh, pagrabs, the uh, the root cellar, uh, which needs cleaning out. It's full of uh, sprouting potatoes at the moment. Um, it needs cleaning out, as does this overgrown garden. I'm looking at this. I'm wondering if it's, uh, I'm thinking it could be dill, <laughs> um, but wondering if it is uh, herb, because most things that you would see in these uh, in these gardens would be edibles. So, uh, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll take a look. As you can see, yeah, the, uh, the farmhouse needs uh, pretty major renovations. I was uh, I was told that it would be renovated before I got here and I could have one of the rooms um, but uh, well that wasn't the case I didn't expect it to be the case and I wasn't really planning on that I wanted to move into my uh, my wagon as quickly as possible so over here a bed frame which was dropped off the other day needs uh, work on it Plenty of, uh, of firewood. This is the uh, the firewood store, and we have loads. I mean, it's full to the ceiling. The back end there, I'd, I'd say there's a good good three weeks worth of uh, firewood there. My solar panels, the doorway to my uh, my home. I'll have a look at that later on. We'll uh, overlook all the the mess out here that needs to be moved in. Maybe a better view of the farmhouse. Basically being split into two rooms and uh, I've been told I could have is my hand that one on the uh, on the right. Um, but well let's take a walk over. The initial uh, <laughs> time scale I was given was uh, I'll be in a week and living in here in a week because people think that because I live the way I do I need to have something better. This ain't going to be done. In, this wasn't going to be done in a week. I doubt if it'll be done this year. I'm not complaining because I'll uh, I'll crack on with my wagon shortly. So yeah, there's the uh, the overgrown garden again. And that's probably where I'm going to be uh, parking the wagon around here. And there's a decent view out there. I say rolling hills, but. Uh, Slight incline. That view isn't uh, particularly hilly or mountainous. So back out. The uh, the root cellar. My water supply, which is far better than the uh, the last place. 
this is uh, clear, clean water. The last place it was, uh, there was a lot of uh, the iron eating bacteria in there, so it smelt of uh, rotten eggs. But I did, I did have my, I do have my filter, which is in there, my filter system, which cleans it out. But I don't need it here. It's, uh, it's nice. And there is a pump with uh, electrics that uh, that run it so uh, I don't even have to haul the water out anymore which is nice the barn let's say it's a quaint barn it's waterproof it, uh, it it stood up to the uh, stood up to the monsoon the other day this is the workshop my washing machine and uh, general odds and sods and bits of tat around here i've been told i can have a, a rummage i don't think i'll use the uh, chest freezer i might uh, take one of the uh, windows and there's loads of old kitchen stuff in that to have a look through and at the back over there there's a spinning wheel and over there next to that cupboard there's something that i'm uh, quite excited about and i'll show you another day but yeah this will become my uh, my workshop it'll uh, it'll be useful then we move out here this was an area for some dogs you know I'm not going to uh, chuck the dogs there but I do stick the goats in there to keep them basically is the third area to, to keep them there's Stan and uh, Minstrel nonetheless enjoying being inside and we have a grapevine quite a substantial grapevine so who knows there might be wine making lessons later on background to overgrown area. Stan cleared all this area in two days which is good of him. Hey mate, alright I'll stick some neem oil on you on later and I'm finding around various spots of the uh, place small rubbish dumps like this. This is mainly uh, straw and hay but again nice view the, uh, the the grassed area out there isn't anything to do with the farm. This tree line, this bush line, is the extent. I believe that is a pear tree, and that might be a cherry tree. I haven't looked closely yet, but uh, yeah. I uh, I'm enjoying the location. I'm sort of enjoying living in four walls, sort of, various buckets and kitchen. This is work in progress today and uh, probably over the weekend. So let's have a look in the home. And again I apologise, the, uh, the boxes were all thrown around because I've been looking for the snake. <laughs> but this is... Uh, my home, my bed, Z. obviously uh, Charlie and Jeb have, uh, have commandeered the, the bed and the mattress. And I've got the, uh, I've got the hammock, which is nice. Hey, Charlie. Charlie does like sleeping in the hammock as well. And, yeah, I know some of you would be horrified to think of living in a place like this but it's actually quite comfortable I've got to, I've got to clean the floor out and I need to move all my crap and sort through my boxes and uh, decide what I'm going to do about the snake if it's still in here but uh, yeah so oh that's school over there
the school with the glider stuck on the wall. That uh, that in conjunction with the uh, the Roman Catholic Church and the uh, the rehab centre down the road of Bruckner, which again is run by the Roman Catholic Church, uh, own this place. So I am pretty secure as far as uh, campsite goes, but uh, it's not just about security, it's about what I want and where I see myself in, uh, in the future. So uh, that's the camp, that's my, uh, my home. Um, rough and ready video, it's uh, a what's and all video. You can see there's a fair bit of work I need to do. Um, I need to get the few materials that I've got here already sorted out. I need to get the other materials over as a matter of urgency. Um, because until they come, I can't do anything. Potentially, I could become a small farmer. Uh, which means that uh, I no longer become a nomad, I'm no longer a nomad, uh, which means that I don't get to travel Europe and uh, see interesting things, which means that I get faced with the, the stress of uh, bills and all the other crap that comes with it. So, uh, something I need to uh, think about. I won't think about it for too long because uh, I embrace the idea of becoming homeless and uh, I quite enjoy the nomadic uh, lifestyle. The freedom that it gives is, uh, is amazing, you know. And I'm an old bugger and the thing that uh, everyone says when they get old is that they wish they'd done things that they'd always wanted to do. And uh, I'm getting to do that. so. Uh, yeah. Anyway, while I was out talking to you guys, Jeb decided to knock over my uh, my glass of uh, stale coffee. So I'm now going to go and see if I can scrounge a free coffee off the school. <laughs> so take care, stay safe, look after yourselves, and I'll see you again soon, guys. Bye bye.